man versus nature god in his heavenly abode announced his departure to the earth the angels around him could not understand why god they queried even without going to the earth you know what is happening out there in that planet we know that you are present everywhere the cry of my creation reaches my ears he said let me go and personally listen to their grievances god came disguised as an old man and stood on the banks of the river the river recognized god and the waters came splashing and leaping towards him how do you do my beloved river asked god are you flowing throughout the earth and providing good clean water to all the living the river started crying how can i the river lamented just have a look at me look at the waste water from the city drainage floating on my back i'm stinking and i feel sick see how black i am because of the industrial waste even on my bank one can see how people dump the waste products people used my waters to bathe wash clothes and bathe their animals how can i remain clean god remained silent he let the water wail for some time then he turned and looked at the land the land which was waiting for this signal from god immediately rose up like a mound and bowed before him how are you dear land asked god is it all well with you no my god said the land in fact i was hoping to meet you and tell my woes in the beginning you created me to be fertile and fruitful but the human beings went away from your purpose and showed no interest in my forests and vegetation agricultural lands are turned into factories and industries estates and buildings under the name of modernization these men have filled my body with chemicals and explosives insecticides and fertilizers may give a better yield but man forgets that they pollute me my entire body is polluted because of the mining and construction activities help me god cried the land god remained silent he took a deep breath and inhaled the cool air that was blowing around him he started to cough the wind which was waiting in line to speak to god immediately took the cue and started his speech forgive me my god i know that i am the reason for your cough and i am sorry for that explained the wind and continued the inventions and discoveries of man have multiplied the automobiles like buses cars and bikes used by man for transportation lets out smoke which is poisonous and injurious to health smoke emanating from the factory pollutes me the poisonous gases from the air conditioners and refrigerators add to the danger the rubbish dumps mount up like hills attracting flies and various other airborne diseases pure oxygen has become a rarity the day is not too far when man will have to carry oxygen packets just like water bottles for his very existence i'm helpless god remained silent he understood the agony of the wind he was about to leave the earth when man arrived he was gasping for breath excuse me are you god he questioned god nodded i'm happy you had the time to notice me he said Since I saw the river, the land, and the wind talking to you, I guessed you might be God," said man, and asked, "Can I present my case?" "Go on," said God. "I am listening." God, the planet Earth has become worse. We cannot live here. The temperature has increased. The air, water, and land has become dirty. There is water scarcity. please give us rain said the man i know i know but whose fault is it i created this planet especially for you to live happily it is a gift for you and for your children but you have spoiled it how can you be so careless about life which is so precious if you can repent and try to set things right you can live on or else the doomsday is not far off said god in a grave tone and went back to his heavenly abode